You can count number of the aggregated documents using different methods. First one, using stage count you already know and we have just discussed it in the previous section. What about other methods? Let's learn this by example. So we invoke aggregate method on the person's collection. And remember that our person's collection has 1000 documents. We don't use any stages, it means that we will aggregate all documents. Remember that server returns a cursor. And in this case, cursor will contain all 1000 documents. We can convert this cursor to the array using toArray helper method. We invoke this method and then we can use its property. In JavaScript, length is a property of each array. And it means that in this case, this long command will return us number of the documents in the cursor. This operation will take about 1,7 seconds and it will return us 1000. Let's look at the next count method db.persons aggregate and then it count method. It count is a method of the cursor and it will count all documents in the cursor. This operation will take about 1,4 seconds and result will be the same 1000. And finally, aggregate with the count stage. This we have discussed in the previous lesson. So just one stage, count total. And attention, this will take about 200 milliseconds and result will be an object with a key value pair, total and number of the documents, that is 1000. What is the difference between those three methods? Why first two take so long? and the last one is so quick? Answer is simple. First two methods are client sign methods. And in those cases, we iterate through the cursor till the end on the client side. And that's why it takes so long. In the last example, server performs count operation and returns us back just result, total 1000. It will not return us any documents, just count. That's why this method is so quick. But what about count helper method that we used in a find method? Let's compare this method to the count stage in aggregation. So in aggregation result is 200 milliseconds and we get 1000 documents. What if we just use db persons then find with an empty query and count helper method? Result will be 1000 and, surprise, it will take same time. There are two conclusions here. First, both operations are performed on the server and server returns us result. In the first case, it returns us an object, total 1000, and in the second case, it returns us number. And second important conclusion, count helper method of the find method is a wrapper of the aggregation count stage. We will not practice this now, but I strongly recommend you to take all those count methods and play with them yourself. Let's summarize. If you want to count number of the aggregated documents, you must always use count stage. Don't use to array or it count methods. Just count stage. It is the most effective because it is performed on the server side. Let's go on and in the next example we will combine count stage with other stages. See you there.